Yeah, it's pretty neat. Hey guys, smelling roses here, and today got my good friend Mr. Willie Bailey out on the trail with me. And I uh, suppose I should tell you guys what we're doing, even though we're like halfway down the trail already. Today we are out in Stokes County, North Carolina, at the Hanging Rock State Park. And we're doing the Moore's Wall Loop Trail. Haven't shot much video on this hike. Just kind of enjoying the hike with uh, my friend Willie. But if you guys want to see the entire trail, I have a video on my channel. And I'll put a annotation for the hiking Moore's Wall Trail. So check that out. step down in here. Alright guys, fought some uh, briars and slick rocks. Found this little rock chimney here and climbed up on it. Got this really awesome view here. Check it out. Quite hazy on the horizon. Look back towards Reuben Mountain, Sauratown Mountain, and in the distance there, Pilot Mountain. Hard to make out in the haze. And over to this direction, you can see Moore's Wall there. Yeah, this is cool. Another big shelter here. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah, look at those layers in the rock. How it's all twisted. Different kinds of rock forced together. spot right there. Guys, so here we are on top of the rock that Willie found. It's kind of being that we're in the summer, there's leaves on the trees blocking the view, but you can kind of get a view there through the trees towards Devil's Chimney, out towards the very end of the Cook's Wall Trail. Alright guys, so we've been on the Moore's Wall Loop Trail, which continues straight for 
5.9 miles to the back to the parking area where we started but we've decided to hang a right here on the Magnolia Springs Trail and we're going to head up the ridge towards the Cook's Wall Trail. A lot of water down in here. Alright guys, so we just came through there on the Magnolia Springs Trail and we've now reached the intersection with Cook's Wall Trail which you guys just saw the last time I was out here at Hanging Rock and if I'm not mistaken the last time Willie was out here at Hanging Rock he was also on the Cook's Wall Trail and so here we go we're gonna do it again alright guys made it to House Rock really awesome overlook here as I mentioned seen it before on my channel it never hurts to have another look this is in many ways my favorite spot here at Hanging Rock State Park it's a really great overlook and it's not as heavily trafficked as some of the other spots in the park quite hazy today as we've seen in other overlooks great view here south looking into the Piedmont of North Carolina and a really awesome view here as well back towards the ridge where you find Wolf Rock and of course the main hanging rock overlook back in that direction great view here from House Rock Another cool overhang here guys. This is part of House Rock. We're kind of on the back side of House Rock. The actual overlook is up in that direction. But you can see you could go down here and go around to the base of the rocks. Check it out guys. There's Sort of a little passageway down in here. Could certainly fit through there if you wanted to. It's tight though, but without the pack, I did remove my pack so I can ease through here. Pretty cool comes out into this chamber here Yeah, sorry the camera is so shaky guys, but <coughs> got some difficult footing here. Alright, now as you can see from where we are, you gotta watch your step. So after leaving House Rock, we continued to follow the Cook's Wall Trail. And the Cook's Wall Trail does not pass 
exactly over Cook's Wall, but you can kind of bushwhack over, and here we are at the edge of Cook's Wall. You can see it's a long way down. Excellent view here of the surrounding countryside, looking south into the Piedmont of North Carolina. Normally you can see downtown Winston-Salem from here, but it's quite hazy on the horizon. You could probably see downtown Greensboro as well, but again, not today. Okay guys, I think I lost Willie. I think he turned and went back towards the trail and I come through the woods a different way. I'm going to take another quick minute and check out this overlook. Looks like there's another awesome spot here along Cook's Wall. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's awesome. Pretty much the same view, but... Hey guys, you can see I found Willie. <laughs> We're still off trail, but we're going to cut through the woods here and hook back up with the trail somewhere over in this direction. Alright guys, we found another awesome area here along Cook's Wall. The trail is actually right up there along the ridge and we sort of made our way down a wash and it's hard for you to appreciate in the video the scale but you can see we're kind of down in a break in these rocks and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to set the camera down to see if I can climb up on these rocks and then I'll get back with you. Alright guys so I said I would climb up on this rock and I did and up here that's it it's a long way down but uh awesome view here in the crack and these rocks you can look right out through there and get a good view of Sorrowtown mountain and pilot mountain it's pretty cool all right what'd you find cool over here Oh, that was pretty cool. Slick. I almost went down in there to have a look. Yeah, that is pretty cool. See the hole in the rocks? Hole in the rocks, that goes down pretty far. Rock faces here. Smelling roses was just on top of this rock right here. He was filming off down this direction. As you can see. So guys, I haven't shot much video through here, but this area is called Cool Gap. And probably one of my favorite areas on the trail. You can see the forest is very open and very grassy. Just a beautiful area. And we're almost to the end of the trail. There's another good overlook up here at the end of the trail we'll check out, so. All right guys, so we're still on the Cook's Wall Trail and we're making our way back to the parking area now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the trail.